sir. Sir. Uh, sir, look at this. So last June, when we were here, I requisitioned toilet paper. Yeah. Now, every time we've been back since, I sent you a follow-up, all according to the book, through channels. I even submitted a sample of the material required. Mm -hmm. So what happens? The whole works just came back, stamped, cannot identify, requisition canceled. So I did Operation Petticoat with Cary Grant in 1959 in Tony Curtis. It's great. And we were, when Blake Edwards produced it, you know, it won an Oscar for the best original story. And uh, we shot uh, about the submarines, about a pink submarine. If you ever get a chance, you should see this movie. It's a good movie. Uh, so I worked with Cary Grant and, 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 uh, for about three months. That was 1959. About 1984, Love Boat's on. My boss is very big, Doug Kramer, uh, with a museum out here, the Museum of Contemporary Art. And they decided to have a big fundraiser, and, but they would have it on one of our ships, one of the princess ships when it pulled into port. And so Aaron Spelling said, I'll have all my people there. And, and so what happened was, uh, the, it was an incredible affair with all the socialites from the LA area, et cetera, et cetera, and people into the business. And we greeted everybody and they came aboard, you know, and, um, everybody from Dynasty to, to Starsky and Hutch and Usk and all of We greeted everybody and it was a wonderful evening. Diane Carroll was entertaining in one room, Bobby Short in another room. It was fabulous. So I was downstairs with my wife and one of my kids in the dining room. And we were having a great time. I mean, finished greeting everybody. So we're doubting her and a very relaxed, wonderful time. And in comes Cary Grant and his wife. Now, in my day, there was nobody that was a bigger movie star or more handsome or more charming or more literate or funny. He could do anything. It was Cary Grant. And he was so great when I did that picture with him. We had a few scenes together and I'd be pinching myself all the time. Here I am with Cary Grant. And so he go, everybody stops because he was, had the gray hair at that time with those big, big horn rim glasses. And he, nobody could walk like him, you know, and he walked over to his the table with his wife. And my wife said, I want to ask you something. I said, what? Would you introduce me to Cary Grant? <laughs> I said, Patty, Patty, I can't do that. She said, well, you worked with him. I said, that was like 30 something years ago. He's not going to remember me. She said, I'll never ask you for another thing. Hmm. Anyway, so then my daughter said, come on, pop, pop. I said, this could be the most embarrassing moment of my life. Don't you? They didn't. They wanted to meet him. So I said, okay. I said, oh God, make this work out. So we go up and we go, finally make our way to his table. And he's sitting, talking to his wife like that. I said, hey, excuse me, Mr. Grant. And he looked up and he said, Gavin, 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 I'm so proud of you. I almost fell through the floor floor. Wow. So I introduced my wife and my daughter and all that. And we talked and then I went back and I said, I can't believe what just happened. I mean, I can't believe what just happened. It was one of the, one of the great moments. So the lesson was there for me to do something for somebody else, you know, and it'll give you a great moment because he died two weeks later in Davenport, Iowa. He went out, he, could, he used to go out and show his movies or clips and talk to the audience. He loved that. And he died in this little room in this theater in Davenport, Iowa. So I've always thought there, that was the message for me. Don't wait, do it. Don't do everything your wife asks you for, but you know, some of it's really going to work out. And that was, uh, that was Mr. Cary Grant.